Right, all right, we are back, back once again. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Vape Cave. Now, today I've got a very special review for you. Today is my first authentic mech mod review, and today we're going to be looking at the Cronus Telescoping Mech Mod by VHO. Now, this is also the same people who did the Titan, and the, from what I've been able to see and do uh, from my research, is that this here is the upgrade from the Titan. Now, the Titan is one mech that I've always wanted to have, but I never got around a chance to picking it up. But this one here, I'm very, very happy to have for this short while that I will be having it, simply because uh, I'm going to be giving this away here. So stay tuned for the end of the video where I'll go through and describe how I'm going to be doing all the giveaway stuff, information for that. Now... This thing kicks ass. Like, <laughs> it's got the same firing or uh, same firing button and lock ring as the Titan. And anybody who's ever played with one or knows about it, this thing is this thing is pretty awesome. So I mean, just... now what I got running on this here, I've got my Dark Horse RDA with a dual coil. 0.16 ohm build. It's one of my uh, one of my competition builds, and then also it's what I've been using to test out my Segeli 100 watt because uh, you know, it's one of the things. So as it goes down to 0.15, so I've just been testing that. I'm gonna have my review on that coming here very soon. But uh, oh, this here is about the Cronus. So this thing, it's definitely one of the best telescopic mech mods on the market and has been for a long time seeing as how this is a little bit of an older device but it's definitely a top-notch device I mean it handles a super sub ohm builds on it absolutely fine better than other mechs that I have so uh yeah, let's go ahead and let's go down to the table here. Let's uh, get an up close personal look at this thing and uh, you know show you a little bit more about it. All right, all right. Here we are down at the table taking a look at the Cronus Mech Mod. Now this thing here is definitely a kick-ass stainless steel mod. Let's go ahead and pop off the Addy here so we can take a good look at it. So, it's the box that it comes in. Um, let's go through and crack it open. So the mod sat in here. I'm not sure what was in here because uh, this was given to me for this review here. I didn't purchase this or anything. So, But uh, one other thing this came with is this little... Allen key tool. I don't know if you guys can see it that well there, but this Allen key tool is how you go through and you actually take the firing button apart. So, what we have on this here, we're going to go with the, the firing button first. Has nice, um, it says uh, that's. It's either nickel or silver plated copper contacts for this thing here, which makes it very conductive versus uh, other devices. So our little Allen key tool goes inside this uh, little Allen head thing here inside of the lock switch for the, uh, for the device. And you can go through and you can adjust it for you know, having it come out, having it sit in, how to take the, uh, the firing the switch apart is all done through these little Allen key things here. So whoever gets this, it's very important. You do not lose this Allen key tool. That's the only way you're going to be able to take your firing switch apart and clean it out if you need to. I got the battery. So let's go to the top cap. I don't need the box anymore. So top cap. So we have our little grooves in here for airflow for your devices that get airflow through the uh, 510 connection. 
and then we have a nice floating silver silver or nickel plated copper contact now being floating here we go through and we push the contact all the way in and we screw on our atomizer now as the atomizer goes through and it makes contact it goes and it actually pushes the contact in that's what makes it a floating contact and then we have the body that you got just your basic uh, telescoping tube except this one here telescopes and comes out of the bottom versus the top like a lot of other mechs do so you keep that going and it comes out through the bottom of the device so if you ever need to clean anything at all this is how you take it apart and then screw it back in we, with our Addy attached to our top cap now this thing here, it's got brass accents for it, which uh, for a lot of people that love brass and looks good with a lot of uh, brass addies and drip tips and anything else. Oops. Looks like I forgot to bring out one of the uh, little pins here that holds the lock ring in place so go ahead and make my adjustment there and I gotta do the same thing on the other side here and of course anybody that's ever played with any kind of a a mech, a mod of any kind, you know, there's always adjustments. You know, I got this tightened back up, and it's hidden. So, that's basically it for uh, looking down at the Cronus. And so we're going to go back up top. We're going to do my final thoughts on it, and uh, let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway here in a moment. So... All right, so we are back from looking down at the table at the Cronus. Now, uh, from the research I've done to see about the price and anything for this, depending on where you go to get it, if you go to get it from uh, VHO, the guys who made this, you're going to be looking to spend around uh, 140 bucks. Now, and that's also on the other side of the world where... Uh, where VHO is. Now you go through US retailers, you're going to be looking to pay a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure where the prices on stuff are on where it is now, seeing as how it's almost the end of 2014 here. Um, this thing here is a kick ass mod. Like if you're a collector like I am, if you're looking for something that is going to be a permanent collection piece you, one you're not going to want to get rid of this is definitely going to be it so uh you take one more here now um for the giveaways for this here this uh what you need to do is you need to go through of course subscribe to the channel um I don't want any ghost subscribers. If you're a ghost subscriber, your name's not going to get put in. Like, I need people that have actual accounts. So, there's that for that there. Um, you know, subscribe to the channel, like the video, do a comment on the video, let me know that you've uh, subscribed so that way I can add your name to the list. Now, I'm going to be actually doing the giveaway on Halloween. As soon as I get out of work on Halloween, I'm going to come home and I'm going to put all the names into the randomizer so that way everybody has an equal chance. There's no bias opinions of any kind, you know. So I'm going to let the randomizer choose the winner for the Cronus. Now, um, 
another thing that would help out, I have my Instagram page. I'm going to be doing other giveaways through that there. So, along with subscribing to my YouTube channel, go to Instagram. Follow me on there. You'll be entered into the giveaways that I'm going to be doing on it, on Instagram as well. And that's going to be about it for this here. Um, I just want to say thank you to Jesse Hammond of the Pluminati, who also works over at Vape NV in North Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the one who gave me this device for review and for giveaway. So, again, thank you very much, Jesse. And uh, take one last toot for the road here. And that's going to be it for me and the Cronus here. Look forward to uh, giving this away to one of my lucky YouTube subscribers. So thank you very much, and good luck to everybody out there.